my guests are here in the studios now, and it's time for big issues. We're talking about two big issues this morning. Of course, top of our list is the big one today. We're going to be hearing from the flag bearer of the NPP, um, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, as he gears up by 4 p.m. today to unveil his vision for the country should he be given the mandate to be president come November or, or December 7th by Ghanaians. Also, we're going to be talking about issues on the labor front. We've heard about a lot of issues in education. Um, come the 13th of February, there might be a demonstration. Um, education workers, um, Tewu, we, we've heard from UTAG. Yesterday we heard from NAT, who are encouraging all of their, their members to participate in the demonstration, especially against that 15% um, VAT on electricity. They want to hear formally from the government that the government has withdrawn it. So these are the two things we're going to be talking about. You can be a part of our show this morning by tweeting at us with the hashtag TV3NewDay on Twitter or on X. And I'll be happy to read them as we go. My guests this morning are Dr. Abudu Abdu um, Ganyu, Management consultant and member of the NPP National Communications team. Good morning, Doc. Yeah. You're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm good. You're great? Sure. Good or great? I'm just good. You're just good. Yeah. All right. You're welcome to the show. It's great to have you. Thank you very much. Also, we have in the studios Gideon Tete, Gideon Tete, Tete, Esquire, NDC legal team and national communications team member. Gideon, How are you you're welcome good? to the show. I'm fine. I'm fine too. Thank you so much for asking. So we're going to go straight into it, um, gentlemen. We're going to be hearing from Dr. Baumia later today. Yep. And I, I know it's early days yet. We should, we would wait to hear what he has to say. Thank but um, what, what are your expectations? Um, what are some of the things we should expect to hear um, Dr. Baumia talk about? Well, I think that it's, it's important for us to, first of all, acknowledge the fact that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has been the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana over the last eight years. So coming before the Ghanaian people as the presidential candidate of the ruling party, the natural expectation would be that he renders an account of his deed worship. So what has he been at over the last eight years? We all know that our constitution provides for an executive presidency. So clearly, as a vice president, you are limited in many ways. But if you have a boss like Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, he'll probably give you the chance on some projects, some programs, some policies here and there. And we know that it's on record for everyone in this country that the busiest, the most successful, and the most impactful vice president we have had in the history of this country is Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. I've always said that he's probably a victim of his own circumstances, a very victim. good circumstances, okay. in the sense that he's delivered top-notch, such that sometimes people forget that he's only the vice president. But I also say that if he's delivered excellently in that role, as the assistant, the deputy, or the vice president, it just should tell you what should lie in store if he becomes the president of the Republic of Ghana. So across the nation, people expect that stewardship to be rendered, and I know he's going to do that so well. The specific projects and programs that he has handled, he's been very successful at it. And that is what will lead me to Like, like perhaps, which one? Yeah, so it leads me to the second expectation, which certainly No, has I'm been, asking which specific project Yeah, so, so that's what I'm coming to. Uh, so, 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 the, so it ties in with what my next expectation would be, which has to do with the digitalization agenda that he's been at the forefront in terms of driving government policies, government programs, just to ensure that we are able to formalize this economy using digitization and digitalization. I've worked at the National Identification Authority before until January 2023, and I know that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has been the key driver of the successful implementation of the National Identification System project something that's eluded Ghana for so many years 
with our first major attempt somewhere in the 1970s. But from 2017 to where we are now, he took it upon himself, more like his baby project, that he has to see to its success. And today that project has succeeded. And the NIA is currently collaborating with all other state institutions to ensure that data is harmonized across all institutions as far as the identity data is concerned, but also to ensure that LI211, which was passed in 2012, is fully implemented in terms of the mandatory uses of the Ghana card. So that is going to constitute the fulcrum or the pivot around which any country's digitalization drive is going to revolve. And he's implemented that very successfully. We have seen what he's done at the ports with a paperless system at the ports, which is supposed to be reducing corruption. Uh, recently, working with the Control and Accountant General Department, for example, we are towards reducing the number and possibly eliminating that ghost names that we have on the public payroll system. These are some of Dr. Mahmoud Balmier's specific projects and generally everything that he's done around the economy. And I have to say that when you look at perhaps our macroeconomic indices before COVID struck, for example, they were so good. Ghana certainly was on a positive trajectory until the COVID situation came up. Ghana isn't an island, so clearly we couldn't be isolated from the impact of the health crisis and the attendant economic crisis that it brought. But I've also maintained that leadership is not about a walk on a red carpet. You expect everything to be rosy, to be perfect, and that is what leadership is. More importantly, leadership has to do with the challenges that confront you and how well you are able to overcome them. So, right. so, Let's so, talk about the economic challenges that have yes. confronted us as Ghanaians and how well um, Dr. Baumia, as the head of the economic management team, has been able to overcome them. Now, there, there are a lot of um, talks about turning the corner and how good our economy is doing. But realistically, on the ground, there, there is no money in people's pockets. Small businesses are suffering. We talk about taxation and how many taxes that a small business owner would have to pay, especially businesses in production, would have to pay before they can put one product on the market. With even how much they can, you know, they can price their goods to be able to get good sales. People are talking about just, just you know, just go on Twitter. You yes. see conversations about regular Ghanaians not being able to afford three square meals a day. Okay. You know about zero one zero formations, one one zero formations, and so on. Mm. It's it's not funny. You understand? Yes. Basically, we are in a very difficult economic state right now. Okay. Ghanaians cannot afford basic bread and butter issues. Yep. School fees, well, you know, the problems about the free SHS, we are aware of that. That's there. But now, labor unions are up in arms. Okay. We might have a demonstration on our hands by the 15th of February mm -hmm. because of difficult or, if you like, the fact that the working conditions and demands of these unions have been ignored over time. Yep. Do you think that Baumia, Dr. Baumia, as the head of the economic management team, has properly managed the economy yes. with all these so, so, so um, that, so, so the point considered? I, so the point I made earlier is the fact that before COVID, for example, these kind of issues or factors or challenges that you enumerated wasn't the case. I mean, even if it existed, but not on the scale that we talk about them now. Now, if you are confronted with a COVID situation where there was a lockdown of, where there was a lockdown of your economy, some people couldn't go to work, and even if they did, they were running shifts and not working for the regular hours. Obviously, productivity was going to be affected. But at the time, the leadership that the government of Nanado Dankwe Kufado showed was a demonstration that we needed to save lives, and on top of that, we needed to save jobs. And that exactly was done. How long has it but, been? But the government was equally not oblivious of the fact that after COVID, we're not going to be challenged 
in terms of our economic growth and our economic development. And you remember the popular statement of Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, that we do not know how to raise lives, but we can turn the economy around, if I would paraphrase. So nobody can be oblivious of the fact that having come out of the COVID situation a year, two, or three down the line, mm -hmm. we should expect everything to get back to normal. So that is but the... should that we is expect the, it to get worse? So, so that... It, it, it is not getting worse. It's not getting From worse. From where we sit. The it's, indicators, it's not worse. The indicators Which indicators? Do show. Oh, clearly. Which indicators? Inflation used to be somewhere 53% mm -hmm. about a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. As we speak, what's the rate of inflation? What is the rate of We're inflation? We're talking about 22.4%. That is about half of what we recorded a little over a year ago. Yes. And that's significant. During COVID. At the, at, the last, at the last monetary policy committee, the Bank of Ghana, for the first time in 2021, reduced the policy rate to about 29%. Okay. About 100 basis points. I hear you. Is that okay? So a clear indication you. that but, but you the see, economy when you is talk turning about, around. When you talk about inflation, yes. all right, and you speak all the micro and macroeconomic language, it's, yes. it's, it's all well and good That's okay. to hear you speak like this and say, and even the, the, the popular refrain now that the economy has turned the corner. Yes. But when you speak to the regular Ghanaian, yes. what if the inflation rate is today does not matter to him if he cannot afford food. What the rate of inflation is today doesn't matter to him if he has to constantly pay, pay taxes. New and increased taxes every month. Yes, so, so I if, am not, I am if not he saying... Has to, if you receive five, 500 Ghana CDs on your phone as your salary mm -hmm. and you try to make a payment, mm -hmm. you have to pay e-levy on it. Okay. The small monies that we are receiving are being taxed. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter to uh, the regular Ghanaian what the inflation rate is, no, if, it does if, if it doesn't reflect in his pocket. It does matter. I mean, that um, at the time, inflation was more than 50%. Mm -hmm. If you went to the market at the time, how much were you buying a bag of rice? Are you saying prices have come down? No, no it, it, it shut up. It, have, it have went prices come, the roof. Have prices come a down? A gallon of oil, for have example. Have prices come down? It, it has come down. Wait. At least oil that used to sell 400, 500 Ghana cities. Today on the market, it's around 250 or thereabouts. Which, which market is this? Oh, any market you go, certainly. Oh, but you saw that. At the time, inflation was very high. People were putting prices of goods and services on social media and some other platforms, right? A year down the line, those prices have receded. That is the fact. Are you referring now, to imported products which were, was pegged at a dollar rate and now that the exchange rate has sort of stabilized? The, those prices have oil, been affected. Oil, Is that what you're referring oil, to? Oil, rice, and some other stuffs are produced locally. Because some if you're talking about things locally. that are produced locally, so, so it's not even everything, poultry, like egg, it's not everything, which used to be about 18 cities yes. that came to 25 cities, mm -hmm. it's now about 60 cities. It's not, it's not everything that we consume in Ghana that is imported. Not at all. So the fact is that when inflation was very high, prices of goods and services were actually high. Mm. Now inflation is coming down. Prices have either come down or they have stabilized in a way. Okay. In any case, inflation coming down does not necessarily mean that prices of goods and services should also be coming and down. And that was my question. It, to you. it only just means that prices of goods and services may be increasing, but at a decreasing rate. So, so we have to get that explanation yes. very clearly. So, is that okay? so my question. So, to so, you so for was... the ordinary Ghani, and the point mm -hmm. I'm making is that if you had an inflation of about 53%, it means that prices of goods and services were increasing at a much increasing rate. But from where we sit, even if prices are to go up, it will do so at a decreasing rate. And that is the impact I am talking about. But at the same time, we cannot expect that just three or four years down the line, the impact on our economy due to COVID should be gone and everything should be back to normal. We cannot be oblivious of that fact. And we've always stated it. And indeed, as we speak, Yes, we went to the IMF, but just look at what we've been able to negotiate. We still are able to save jobs. In the past, when we went to the IMF, there was a net freeze on public sector employment. Today, as we speak, whether it's the security agencies, it's the health sector, it's the education sector, Ghanaians are being employed. Jobs are being handed. 
to people. So I am not saying that everything is perfect right now, but indeed, given the circumstances that we have been confronted as a government, we have managed the situation quite well. What do you say and to people who compare us to other countries, all right? It's been, what, three, three years or so after COVID? We still pay the COVID levy, okay? Mm -hmm. Is there any other country paying a COVID levy? Well, there may be taxes so, in some other countries. So, the, so that, what do you say to people who that, ask about the COVID yes, levy? Yes, so the point I'm making is Isn't the is COVID that, levy supposed to help offset all of the debts that we accrued during COVID since we are still paying it? And why do we still keep referring to COVID as the reason for our economic crisis? Yeah, it is because... After COVID, it resulted in an economic crisis. Which and we that, are paying for. And that crisis wouldn't go away in a year, two, three, or four. All the analysts at the time of the COVID pandemic predicted that in some five years or probably a decade, we will still be reeling under the impact of COVID. And that is the fact. All right, let so me so, come so, so we, we need to get that straight away. So, let's talk so Dr. Baumia would give an account of his stewardship. And at the same time, he will clearly indicate where we have come from as an economy, where we are today, and indeed, where we are moving on to. Yes, well, I, I, I was hoping that you could tell us some of the things that we should expect him to talk about. Yes. I, I as, am aside, I'm yes. giving an account of how far we have come, what his vision is moving forward. So we'll come back to that. Okay, um, right, um, Gideon, right. what are your expectations? Yes, thank you very much. Well, let me say good morning to your viewers. Um, first of all, I wish to remind viewers and everyone here that in the event that Ghanaians vote for His Excellency John Jomani Mahama is going to ensure that it's going to be 24-hour economy. Even my brother here will get a job to do. Three will shift <laughs> and it's going to increase productivity. And so that is what is happening in the world. And obviously a visionary leader like John Mahama is making sure that indeed come 2025 when we come to power, that 24-hour economy would Will, will, will come to bear. Now, quick one. The issue about Dr. Baumia is very risable. And I'll tell you why. In the year 2016, under the, 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 the SOR John Mahama administration, inflation was 15.4%. He is saying that currently it is 22%. But I just want to remind him that as of 2016, it was 15.4%. Again, under His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, the debt was 120 billion Ghana CD. What can we say for Dr. Baumia as the head of economic management team? 600 billion Ghana CD. Same. We handed over one oil field. We, we, we managed one oil field and added two oil fields, two new oil fields for the MPP to come to power. Under them, they were handling eight or your four, but you can see the debt. Apart from that, the debt to GDP ratio under your mama in 2016 was 57%. Under Dr. Baumia and Akufuadu, as, and Dr. Baumia as head of economic management team, the debt to GDP ratio as of 2022 was 104%. Is that the, 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 the president or the, the party, the person you want to showcase to lead this country? The dollar, rate, the dollar to CD today, as compared to under the, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, in his time, as of 2016, it was 4.2 Ghana CD to, 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 to a dollar. In the case of, of, of Dr. Baumia, as a head of economic management team, the dollar to CD. CD is 12 Ghana CD to a dollar. What is even uh, um, 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 funny is the credit rating. We were rated B minus. Today, under this clueless government, we are in a junk status. I mean, you know what, what it means even in academia when you are given a B, B minus, and the other, your, your colleague is, is giving a junk status. Junk status is more or less, more or less like getting a, a, an E on F. That is the credit rating for Ghana as of now. 
Let's even, let, 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 let us no, no, let me learn. So when you were speaking, point, when you were speaking, when you were speaking, I was quiet. No, no, but, but when you in your death exchange, in your death exchange, no, but let me, let me back point. In your death exchange, we didn't, we didn't, you know, talk about a haircut in your time under this useless, clueless okay, Gideon. Okay, Excuse Gideon. Me. Yes, but Gideon. No, no, but you see, Gideon, I want let us me to remind talk you. about, my dear, no, let me remind you, about, in, I don't, many years ago, it is this same people, this same party that are in power, they called his excellence John, Ma John Mahama, incompetent on this platform. I was always on this platform. Okay, so my question to it you is, is never about in this our expectations. To call them useless and clueless. And I'm, I'm telling you, yes, you ahead of our allow me, speech. allow me to make my point. Mm -hmm. Unemployment rate under our time was 8.4 percent. In your time, in this government, unemployment rate is 14 percent. I just listened to uh, um, your colleague on 3FM. In our time, national service. You will not wait for the last day in the month, and your money will reflect in your account. I think it was around 200 cities or something. Today, today, I'm told that it is quarterly. And you have so come for you forgotten that when the NDC was handed over to the MPP, national service personnel were getting the allowances every single month, not even on last day of the month, not even on last day. I recall, in your time, in this government, quarterly, so the question is that how do the national service personnel survive in the first quarter? It's just an allowance. It is just an allowance. And why should allowance be so difficult to get? Look, the same um, 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 so-called head of economic management team, they, in 2021, borrowed 45 billion Ghana City. We, in our time, we didn't even borrow from the central bank. Zero, zero. In your time, you've borrowed and borrowed and even ran a bank of Ghana into, into a banker's status. And that is the, 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 the person you want to now become president. What are even your as the head of... I, know, I don't expect anything different apart from lying. Because obviously, he will come and lie, but he's forgotten. That even as the head of economic management team, right, their interest rate was 40%. Our interest rate was 25%. So you see, clearly, we don't expect anything new today. I mean, I'm just going to see him lying on line and trying to defend. Look, Which specific speak, issues would you like him to speak to about his stewardship as vice president? Well, his stewardship, I, I expect him to talk about his debt. What is what is what they are doing about the debt too? I expect them to talk about what they are doing, what he has done so far in terms of unemployment rates. But what I'm trying to say is that if you have been given, you are the head of a economic management team, and, and 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 I recall that the senior minister of Safu Mafu even applauded Dr. Baumia as managing the economic management team in a, in a way that baffles him. And it's very impressive for the team. Says in general, Mr. Ike, the video is, is, is already on social media. And today, you see how the economy is going. Kenke, Kenke, I'm sure you love Kenke. Kenke, those days was, was, was one city. Today's four cities. Four Ghana city. Four Ghana city. So now, even if you want to buy Kenke and fish, if you don't have 20 cities, you cannot even buy Kenke. Four Ghana city. And so, you see, I don't expect anything new from Dr. Bahamia. All I know so far as the head of economic management team, which is one he wants to run away from and be hiding behind digitalization. Digitalization has not shown anything in the pocket of anybody. How much is the fuel? How much, how much, how much is your fuel today? When you are buying fuel today, how much was it? How much was it? Eh? It is even 12 cities and above, depending on the fuel station you go, per liter. That's right? So you can imagine, and every single day, if you are even observing the, 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 the litter on the, on, the, on the pricing on the four stations, you see that today it is 12 CD, tomorrow it's 13.9, next time it is, it is, it is uh, 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 14 CDs, depending on the first. But it should tell you that even four is for bracket. Let me even learn. Coconut, Kube, Kube, common coconut, right? It's five grammar CD. Today, five grammar CD. If that is the economy you are talking about that he's come to. To, to deliver 
in the, about his vision. He has not even shown that he can manage or he can do so well as the head of the economic management team. And so we, this, this, this program is coming today to talk about the vision. If you were given a vice president and as head of the economic management team, this is your track record. Your track record, right, of debt default, you will not pay your debt, right? Your, your, your debt deliverable ratio is problematic. Your revenue, your, 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 your debt is 600 billion Ghana CD. When we were handing over to you, it was 120 billion. What are you going to talk about today? You have failed in your, in your, in, in, in your, in your, in, in your, as, as vice president and as head of economic management team. And clearly, we, 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 I beg to differ on this issue of, um, Dr. Bawamia was only advising. He was the head of the economic management team. And even his boss credited him for how far the economy has come. And even the senior minister. So what is the issue about running away? Is it that now that things are not going well, you want to now run away? And I just want to remind my, my brother. He was, he, 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 clearly, he doesn't know how much even Frito oil was, 25 liters. In 2016, Fried to 25 liters worth 120 Ghana CD. You know how much it is down? 510 Ghana CD. 510. I mean, you see, he doesn't cook. I'm not sure he buys oil for his wife, so I, I don't blame him. But when you go to the market right now, you will see that things are expensive. So you see, today, whatever Dr. Bowman is going to say is totally useless. And I'll say it every single time I come to any platform that this government has shown they are very clueless and useless. All right. And I'll tell you why. You, in this particular MPP, in our time, I was always coming to this platform, this particular show. You see the MPP calling the, the NDC incompetent. Dr. Baumia in his goofal posture, uh, uh, the incompetent Baumia administration. Now it is your turn. I recall that one of the programs in trade fair, John Drama the Mama even indicated to, at that time, they were in opposition. And asked them, do you know what it means to run a country? As at the time, they were insulting him as incompetent. He reminded them at Trade Fair that, do you know what it means to run a country? Now, Ghanaians gave you the chance. And this is your track record. And you want us to give you another, you know, um, 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 four years in the name of you are, you are a different person from your boss? I mean, once you vote, once Ghanaians vote for Dr. Baumia, it is a third thing for Akufado. It's a third thing. Why do you because, say so? oh, clearly, because that is his boss. And whatever he does is according to, 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 to the orders of, you know, the, 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 the cabal. The cabal, the, 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 the kitchen cabal. And so, you see, today, we would rather be expecting Dr. Baumia to tell us what he has done so far. That, cost, that, 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 that should deserve Ghanaians to listen to him about his vision in 2025 and be mm. given power. But okay. I believe and I know that the pocket of Ghanaians is all that matters. All right. When you wake up in the morning and you are buying fuel and you get to the fuel and they tell you that today it is 12 CD per liter and it's not part of your budget, you have to pay. You get up and they tell you that now... The, 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 the price, the, the crate of egg is 60 Ghana CD. When it was 20 cities, 30 cities, it's 60 Ghana CD. Then you, are, you have a place. When you wake up in the morning and you realize that your lights are off, meanwhile, under the NDC, we installed enough megawatts. And because you don't want to pay your debt, your debt is under people's bedrooms. All right, then you done. can be talking about the fact. But until then, what are we going to talk about here is totally useless. All right, Gideon. Um, I'll read some messages coming in and then we'll continue our conversation. We'll soon um, move on to the labor issues with, with teachers and we'll be speaking to Thomas Musa, the General Secretary of NAT. Uh, before that, Kablavi from Pokwasi Benghazi says, is it not a shame that this clueless NPP government is not able to service the country's debt due to incompetence and corruption um, on X? Nothing personal says, now nah, I really do not want to hear him. Um, to be honest, Albert Einstein says he knows he won't win. So what exactly is his problem? Bill says, I have no expectations. He's clueless. Anything he says is just talk. All right. Michael says, now, nah, please, does he have a vision? 
someone who's, okay, uh, I, I don't think we should read that on television. Taliban says, he's going to spew nothing but a new set of lies and hoodwink um, people into going to work this time around. We, it's not going to work this time around because our eyes are wide open. The economy is a mess. And as a chairman of the economic management team, he is not man enough to accept his responsibility. That's just weakness. In quote, he says, we have the men. All right. So let's let's speak specifically to um, what we are expecting him to talk about. Aside, um, giving us a brief history of of how he's done over the last um, seven going on eight years. But let me re read a couple more messages before I come to you. Musa Abatoa from Asawasi says, "Now, nah, after Baumia outlines his vision for the economic, wait, will will Baumia outline his vision on the? Okay." After he outlines his vision, will it solve the economic crisis? If not, it's going to be just a useless exercise. And at the same time, it's going to insult our intelligence. The NPP cannot run away from the standard they have set for us when they were in opposition. They said that if you want to do a fair and critical analysis about inflation, the exchange rate, among others, um, just, put, just put your hands in your pocket. If it's empty, then the managers of the economy are incompetent. Now our pockets are empty. So how do we call them? Impotent and clueless. Um, all right. And then this one says, now nah, this is from landlord Bolga D-Line. 2024 is not 2016. Baumizi in 2016, um, JM writes um, his exam and got B plus in the economy. And now Baumizi takes it, uh, takes it as a personal issue, calling JM incompetent when he boldly said to Ghanaians that if the times, well, I, I don't understand uh, your message. I'll, I'll read it again and then I'll share on, on TV if I understand. All right, I'm back to you, Doc. Yes, yeah, so, so, so just a few issues to clarify some of the misleading facts that he put out All right. there. Ghana's credit rating is currently not in junk status. The Fitch rating has its latest credit rating on Ghana, which is a CCC, and that is not junk and at all. Now you are proud about it. Now, it, it, is, it, it is a signal. It is a signal. It is where we are heading. We have never denied the fact that we didn't get into a crisis. But of course, I've enumerated the causes of the crisis, which no one in the world today can ignore. But I have repeatedly said that it is our capacity to manage the crisis that is more important, and that is what leadership is about. And I will use two examples to draw this comparison. Under the NDC, the worst crisis that they faced was doing so. To the extent that power outages here in our country, we have to find a different term for it. And it has come to stay somewhat even in official documents as we speak today. The worst power crisis in the history of this country was presided over by the NDC. And that crisis was internal. That is what it is. It was simply about poor management of our economy, which landed us into a power crisis. In 2015, ISE, the Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research, conducted an opportunity cost Okay, analysis. And guess what that pointed to? 2.2 million US dollars was what Ghana lost daily. You can translate that into a month, translate that into a year. That was how doing so affected the productivity and the growth of this economy. It lasted for about four good years, from 2012 to about 2016. Now, if you come to the crisis that we have been confronted with, First, it started off as a health crisis. Eventually, it became an economic crisis. And Ghana equally was confronted by that. This was a challenge. What did the Akufado government do? You remember what we did with water. You remember what we did with electricity. You remember how people stayed at home without going to work, yet they were paid their monthly salary every month. Teachers, basically had to be at home for the period of COVID. They were paid. You remember what we had to spend on PPEs just to ensure that we protect the lives of our people. And out of COVID, we didn't say that we're not going to employ people. Like I indicated earlier, across the public sector, we kept employing people, recruiting people into the public sector. And first, 
We were able to save the jobs, but at the same time, we still created jobs even in the midst of COVID. So having come out of the COVID situation, there were surely going to be shocks on the economy. And you cannot be naive over the fact that a health crisis that resulted in an economic crisis one or two years down the line, you should get out of that situation completely. That was never going to happen. We listen to analysts in this country and internationally, and everyone bemoaned the fact that the COVID situation surely was going to come with a depletating economic effect. Ghana was confronted by it. We had to make bold decisions, and one of those bold decisions was to go to the IMF. And today, as we speak, the figures that were not looking too good around COVID are beginning to look good. And that is what we mean by turning the corner. So you can see clearly a positive trajectory where we are headed. Inflation, 53%. About a year ago, that was what they were trumpeting. On every platform you heard the NDC, they reminded Ghanaians about the fact that the inflationary rate of this country was 53%. Why are they not talking about it today? Because it has come down to 22%, right? The, the monetary policy committee has brought the policy rate to about 29%. It is beginning to signal an indication of interest rates in our country coming down. Then you talked about interest rates being around 50 or so. I don't know. I don't really know where he's getting these figures from. Today, where, which bank would you go to and borrow at 50%? Especially so when the Monetary Policy Committee has just reviewed the policy rates downwards. Fine, 40%. But that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Is that okay? Let's go to the bank. Okay. The, the Ghana reference rate today is nowhere near what you are talking about. You see, when you confront the NDC with the facts, all they do is to lie and embark on their usual propaganda. That can't be true. So we are saying that we acknowledge the problem, we acknowledge the crisis, but we have not gone to sleep. We've been working extremely hard yes. at overcoming the situation. So today, Dr. Baumia will clearly show where we have come from and where we are today. Then his own vision will be clearly spelled out because let no one say that Dr. Baumia is the president of this country. What are some Not of the things all. we should expect he's him the, to talk he, about okay. as his vision? I can only talk about what I also expect as a Ghanaian okay. and perhaps what the broad contours are. I can't take the win out of Dr. Baumia's cell. At the end of the day, I don't even know exactly what he's going to put out. But it can only be an expectation. So yes, I've talked about the economy, his stewardship, what he's going to do to turn the economy around from 2025 when he becomes the president of Ghana, not just head of the economic management team, but becoming somebody who understands the policy himself and can implement the policy to be able to get us out of that economic difficulty. He'll be able to articulate that clearly today, so I don't want to go deeply but into as, that. But as vice now, president, you don't now, think that now, he had Dr. any power Dr. to Bonia, advise on implementation? It, fine. So when you talk about advising, I mean, you, you work with media general. I don't think it's everything with all your experience as a media person that you put before your management that they are going to implement. That is what it is. So if it's heading the economic management team, the fact still remains that he's the vice president. The back certainly stops with the president. As much as the president has performed creditably and has shown leadership, even in the midst of a crisis, we are saying that Dr. Baumia, as a presidential candidate, and hopefully president in 2025, has his own vision. All you need to do is just to wait. When the time is due, please just sit by your set and listen to him. Get yeah. what the facts are. You should answer come the back. Questions. Hello, come back. The questions. Come I'll back. Your turn. Come back and let's discuss the facts. That is worth it. Is. It some, is all about the data. So some, some come back and let's discuss that, it. Um, so avoid the propaganda. Is, some people have said that he has had his time. What time? Um, as vice president, he's done all that he could do or can do, you okay. know, as vice president for the country. I mean, we, we, we heard um, recently Alan Germantin mm. speak about the fact that he's done his bit. Okay. And as vice president, okay. you're, you're second in command. Okay. And whatever the president does is usually in line with what they agree to do as a team. Okay. So he's done his bit and there's really nothing new to expect. Okay. Well, what do you so, say to so, people so, with, so, so, with so, this so, position? So, so flipping the same coin, right? What new... Is John Dramani Mahama bringing to the presidency again? Knowing that in the unlikely event that he gets a chance, he'll be ruling this country for only four years. Only four years. 
He's been vice president before. He's been president before. Unfortunately, you people are inviting us to compare the record of a vice president to somebody who has been president before. So if Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has performed creditably as a vice president, does it not make sense, sorry, to ask Ghanaians that we need to give him the opportunity to be president, then we will see what he will be able to do. Because the other person he's competing against, he has been president before, and we've seen it all. And if it happens that he becomes president, he'll be ruling this country for only four years. So all the things that he's promising You think that today, four years is not enough time to make a difference? All the things he's promising today, I am saying that he's been around the presidency for eight years. He couldn't do them. He's coming to do all the promises he's making to Ghanaians now in four years? Really? So, so, so that is a critical question we need to be asking. But Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, as a vice president, has demonstrated that he's performed so well. Whatever role, whatever responsibilities he was assigned by his boss, he's delivered it. So give him the opportunity to be president, and he's certainly going to do more. So mm -hmm. anytime we are comparing records, we need to define that contest very, very clearly. That we are comparing one who has been vice president and the other who has been president. All right. If you define that contest, then we proceed with it. And right. today as we speak, if you work in an organization and you've performed so well, with time and with all of your experience, what, what happened? You get promoted. Mm -hmm. So Ghana should promote... Dr. Mahmoud Baumia from the vice presidency to presidency. All and right. then you will see what he will be able to deliver. All right. Um, Prince Henry in Koforidia says that anyone who defends Dr. Baumia and the NPP now has no shame or credibility at all. Um, more messages coming in. Now, the conversation you're having today is making me very uncomfortable. Are these people aware of what's happening in the lives of regular people? So help us God. All right. I'll read more messages as we go. Yeah, Gideon. Yeah, you see... Uh, what Doc is uh, we, We're says, going to wrap up on this conversation yeah, with you and what then is we'll go on to the neighbor issues. clearly that he does not appreciate, he, does, he lacks the death and gravitas of the issues. And I'll tell you why. This Doomsaw issue, how many megawatts, how many megawatts has this particular government done? It is clearly because you guys are not paying your debts. This government under uh, uh, Akufado and Bahamia, uh, uh, you know, regime, are failing to pay their debts. If they begin to start paying their because debts, you will not signed, be where we are. No, you, you signed, never added. You, you never signed, added one single member. No, 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 no. The oh, question oh, is a rhetorical oh, question. It's not for you to answer. Oh it's not for you to answer. But you did not add facts. one megawatt. These are the you did not, facts. from my brother. What the hell is that? Hold on. You did not add even one megawatt. They do so today stop, is stop because you are failing to pay your debts. Please, please no, the you see, clearly it means that speak to the you, facts. It means that you shouting, see, please. no, you see, clearly it means that you 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 do not you, you lack the depth and gravitas you, you of the issues because do so do so was solved do so was solved do so was solved by so the entities. Allow him to How learn. many workers did you add? You have failed to pay your debts, and that's where we are today. From taxation, look, you are just taxing people, taxing and taxing. Very, the very moment you begin to pay your debts will not be where we are today. And look, clearly he doesn't know his facts. The interest rate, the interest bill rate today is at five percent. How much do you think? No, how much do you think the commercial banks are charging in terms of interest? Which Maybe one? you're not checking. The in, the 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 the, the treasury bill interest, interest on loans. Rates, the treasury bill rates right now is at five percent. And I'm saying that if the treasury bill rate is at five percent, how much do you think the commercial bank interest is charging? It's at five percent to forty percent. Go and check. Just go and check. Look, clearly, no, you, you are you showing said, that. You, you are showing, oh, my brother. I, now look, you've come to 35. I never said over 40%. You said 50, and I said 40%. Exactly. 35 to 40 is not the same thing. Oh, 35 to 40 is the same. It is, really? oh, it's the same bracket. It is it, not more than 40%. The terms, bottom line is that you know it is not more than 40%. Represent. I am trying to tell you that. Look, hey. clearly, you are showing that there is lack of death and gravitas of the issues. Doomso was solved by the NDC. We accepted the responsibility well, and Ghanians solved it. The records are there. Oh, do you want me to give the records? I can tell you. I Glenn, are listening, look, so don't even, worry. In, even, even, even on the issue of inflation, I'm mm -hmm. really surprised that you take pride mm -hmm. in the fact that it has been reduced to 22%. Mm -hmm. Even that one is worse. Because even if you want to compare 
His Excellency John Dramani Mahama mm -hmm. as Vice President. So was the right? inflation. No, I'm good. As vice, let's, let's just do Vice President, Vice President. Mm -hmm. Inflation under John Mahama as head of economic um, 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 committee, team, mm -hmm. as head. Mm -hmm. There was single digit inflation for three continuous years. How about you people? What are you doing? This drama, this this particular, and, and, and what, this what particular the, Dr. Baumia, what have you, you are, are you asking me? I'm telling you that there was single digit inflation for three years continuous, not in, 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 in breaks. Under John Mahama as head of economic team. In the in the in the case of Dr. Baumia as vice president, was there even a single digit inflation? Let's just, just use that one. Was there even a single digit, not even, uh, even one year? So you see, let's get serious in this country. Mm. Clearly, you people have this this particular government has shown that they are useless and clueless because it will be it will be poverty of ideas to claim that you solved them so right. how do you solve them so when we've we brought megawatts we install megawatts instead of you paying the debt you will not pay the debts and we are where we are today and instead of you telling the Ghanaian Chinese the truth you are busy sharing the money to buy 500 motorbikes busy sharing the money you know, uh, inflation budget, busy putting the money under, your, under your, your bedroom, your bed, your, 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 your wardrobe, and what have you. Gideon, let's the, just face the, the facts. The MPP has the cited. The doing so was never solved by the MPP. All right. Instead the, of the them MPP maintaining has cited the, 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 the plants Gideon. and paying their debt, they are free to do that. All right. So the MPP has cited the COVID 19 crisis, the Russian Ukraine war, among other things, as contributing to the economic Russia, Ukraine, um, crisis see, that is, we're, we're currently it, it, facing. Now, aside the Russia-Ukraine war, the COVID crisis, um, which he has, he has mentioned, started off as a health crisis, we know, and then it became an economic one as part of the reasons for the challenges we currently face. They should uh, add the Gaza issue, the Gaza conflict. Why are you not adding that one too? No, 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 because no, you see, you know what? that no, is the, 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 that point, is the modus the operandi. Take, 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 no, 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 you see, this that is the modus oh, operandi. No, serious no, that you're doing. The no, but no, just what's the propaganda? Clearly, you don't know the issues. Much. It means that no, you, you, know, it means that you don't know the issues. Gaza. You don't know the issues. Because, you see, this government is full of relying Please speak on, to the issue on, I asked I'm about. Then why are they not relying on... on I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the issues. Why are they not also relying on the Israel-Gaza issue? Because every day, every time there's an issue, you know, internationally, they want to take that... No, but COVID, COVID hits us locally. Yes, but so are we saying that up to now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This government is relying on the fact that because of COVID... So you, 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 you will not pay your debts? Are you, is that what I'm saying? Is it because of that? So in because of that, you cannot even uh, um, 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 pay national service allowances? Are you saying because of that, the unemployment rate should be increasing? What is stopping you from paying your debts? What is stopping you from just paying your debts? In any case. No, no, you say no, 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 I'm not. The okay, questions so I'm so asking on the debt you, issue, they are only rhetorical. It's it. not for you to answer. <laughs> it is this same government that told the Ghanaians that we are a proud nation. We love our country. We will not go to INF today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Doomsayers, we those who are declaring doom and gloom, they are those who don't love the country. Oh, you are. We are where we are today. You've gone back to the IMF. Okay. The IMF, you said you will not go. So... That is under the head of economic management, Dr. Baumia. You, 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 in fact, you led, you, you escorted, and you, in fact, you led Ghana to the IMF. Even that one, you are not even meeting the conditions. So IMF is even finding difficult to even give you the second tranche. That is the country you are saying Dr. Baumia should, should become president. Even a vice president, you couldn't do the same. Eh? And I'm telling you that even if we compare vice president to vice president, there was single digit inflation for three continuous years. How about Dr. Baumia? No, let, right. no, let, so let, let them just take the fact that only right. fishing. All you right. couldn't even do single like, I'm talking All about right. this. What's happening right. with that? What, what I right. mean, really? We, we, we have, no. to, we have so, to draw the curtain on this, on this, on this, this discussion. discussion. So, it is we, just we have going to, draw... to be a useless and Gideon. clueless We have to draw the curtain on this particular conversation. We must just accept that it is an empty 